Wisconsin enters the season unranked. The rest of the country better not sleep on this team. These kids can fly. Winning not where they stand in the polls is what's important to them. A point they fully expect to illustrate in this, their inaugural game of the season. What's the starting five look like, you might ask? Well, whether it's a big game or a small game, your starting five has got to be ready to go, Dick. Wow, Mr. Nestler, that matchup of the center position should be a good one. Definitely two of the more skilled big men in this game tonight, perhaps in the nation. And now for the tip. And we're off and running into the first half. Out on the way. We're barely underway. We've already got a bucket. High energy right from the start. And now getting set up here in a four-round one. I tell you, a four-round one makes it tough to defend the big guy on the interior with one guy. It really does. You've got to get help on him, and if you don't get help, he's going to have a field day on the interior. Fed the low block. Goes up with a shot. Knocks it down. They work it around the perimeter. Thinks about the shot. Top of the circle. Jumper won't go. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Both teams looking to get things going here. On the outside. Goes up with it. Off the mark. The center takes the pass. In the lane. Nails the J. Number 42 handles the pass. Up and inside. Controlling the ball. Goes up for two. And he misses the shot. Off the glass and no good. Kicks it out. Tries for two. Makes it. Didn't look like anything was going to keep him from the basket there, Dick. You know, he did a great job putting the ball on the floor and getting to the basket. For the bucket. Off the glass and no good. Number 12 takes the pass. About six minutes remaining in the game clock. Takes his jumper. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. My, oh, my, this is turning out to be one tough place to play for the visitors, Dick. Hey, the home team craft is starting to get crazy, Brad, and that spells trouble for the visitors. Hey, when this place gets going, it's one of the toughest places to play in the country. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. For two, off the glass and no good. Their defense is really making them work for everything out there tonight, Dick. Yeah, they really are, Brad, and they're doing it with a lot of poise and control. The shooting guard handles the feed. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. And a timeout called. We got a break in the action. Stay tuned for more NCAA basketball coverage. ready to start again. The crowd starting to chant. Who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage? Looking for a good shot. Number three, pump fakes. Goes up with it. Nope. He grabs the board. Inside. Goes up. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. Jumper. Jumper didn't look pretty. I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. On the dribble. Gives it up. He pulls up with a jumper. Excellent jump shot right there. Number 
fakes the jumper. He shoots from left of the circle, busts the jumper. The shooting guard takes the feed. Gave it up. He puts up the J. They get it to go. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. There he is. Strips the ball loose. Down inside. He gets the rejection. On the right side. Fade away. Sweet fade away, Jay. About three minutes remaining. On the outside. Puts up the jumper. The missed shot. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Coach has been pretty active over here on the sideline, providing some quality feedback to his players. I overheard him saying that he really likes the manner in which they've been playing. The up-tempo style is what they're known for and what they've been demonstrating so far. Don't look for that to change. Thanks, EA, our third member. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. And a momentary look from three-point land. Bad decision there by the senior. They move it into the front court. Number 52 with the, the layup counts and the foul. He went hard to the hoop, knowing he was going to get fouled. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. Terrible free throw. About two minutes remaining on the game clock. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the mark. Oh, what a strip, Red. Pushing in transition. Outside jumper. Jumper won't go. Knocks it down. Takes it strong to the hoop. He has all the tools to play down low. He can put a lot of pressure on the defense. Number 42 is called for the foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled to prevent the easy basket. He'll attempt two shots. He sinks it. Charity strike. Working it around the perimeter. About a minute remaining in the game clock. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Off the mark. Cross court. Did the guy in the stands call for it? Let's take a look at this young guy's great performance tonight, Nick. I tell you, he's been awesome. All over the court, making it happen for his team. Let's see if he can keep it up and get the W to go along with his great individual performance. Goes up for two. They're just having a devil of a time getting good looks at the hole. That's right, Brad. I haven't seen a whole lot of plays carried out and executed the way they should be. On the dribble, gives it up. Unloads. Scores it. The Badgers are getting some great opportunities to score when they get the ball in the high post. Well, they manufacture that basket through the high post. I guarantee you that they work on it every day in practice. Go into the low block. 
Tries for two. Off the glass and no good. With the big shot, they're dialing threes up like nothing right now. Hey, this is awesome to watch, baby. At the end of the first half, the Demon Deacons trail by 17. Wisconsin did a fabulous job of controlling the backboard in the first half, Dick. Hey, controlling is right, partner. They know if they dominate on the board, the chance of pulling this one out is significantly higher. Full court press now, Dick. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Now the turnaround jumper. Can't connect. Number three receives the pass. Looking for a good shot. It. It's good. Instead of giving him that, use a foul. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards up there. Yeah, that helps. Shoots from outside. A severe offensive drop for them right now, Dick. And it doesn't seem to be turning around as of yet, Brad. Cross court. He uses the shot fake. The small forward takes the feed. Jumper! And come up short. Watch the move as he works his man and on a fadeaway jumper. No. So give it a racer. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. Kicks it out. He shoots from downtown. Nails the jumper. The small forward takes the feed. Look at that spacing. With a rejection. Ball's going to stay down here. Let's take another look at this deep three. He fades away. He misses the fadeaway. On the right side, cross court. Goes up for two. Shots off the mark. around the arc. Tries for two. He shows the sweet touch. About five minutes remaining. For the bucket. Got it. Both teams looking to get things going here. Number three steals the ball. Here they go in transition. Obvious foul. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestle, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. Both free throws go. Two. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. 
Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, 10 points, 20 points. It doesn't matter. Gave it up. There's a slam. Well, Dick, I think it's been very well documented. This gym is a tough gym to win in for visiting teams. One thing that adds to a team's winning percentage is their home wins. You've got to get them while you can. Way out on the right wing. From three-point range. Missed the jumper. They work the perimeter. up for two. The shot won't fall. The small forward gets the pass. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. We're at the three-minute mark. They work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. He buries the shot. Cross court. For the bucket, perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rag. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Dunkaroo. There's the pick. There's the roll. The Badgers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Now they work it around the perimeter. Bad decision there by the freshman. About two minutes remaining on the game clock. They run it up into transition. For two, he drains it. Did a great job of getting to the hoop on that one, Richard. Well, he spotted an opening, and he just absolutely great first step, and he exploded to the goal. They work it around the perimeter from way outside. Missed it, and we're going the other way. It's a team effort across the board so far today. Dick. You can't have any weak links out there at this level. The coaches and players are just too good and they'll be exposed. So far, it's been a demonstration of teamwork here today. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. On the outside. He shoots from the deep corner. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Brad, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Jumper won't go. The shooting guard gets the ball. Number 12 is seemingly at an emotional low right now. He needs to take a deep breath, refocus, and get after it. Number 42 picks up the foul. Second personal foul. Chance to get an easy one here. First one, good. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. He doesn't miss that opportunity either. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Up and inside. From three-point land. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Looking for a good shot. Some subs get ready to check in. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Knocked it down. Gave it up. Shot clock is dead. And we'll head back down to the other end.
The point guard gets the ball. He shoots from the top of the circle. The missed shot. take a moment to look at our players of the game here today. These two kids were awesome all day, Brad. They both played their hearts out. Their coaches have got to be happy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball. Today's game is between the UW Green Bay Phoenix and the Wisconsin Badgers. Let's take a look at two players who everyone is going to be watching once the game gets underway. There's a look at the starting lineup. Check out those two at the shooting guard position, Gus. They're really fun to watch. And trust me, they're in the starting lineup for a very good reason. And while we have a moment, let's take a look at the keys for each of these teams today. The Badgers get possession, and away we go. He looks for three, but he misses his target. Strong rebound. Shots up. The bank. When he gets the ball, it usually ends up in the basket. This kid is a big-time scorer. Gus, he's definitely a pure scorer. And when he gets going in his hot, he can easily go for 30. Top of the key. Shots off. What a rebound. On the left side. on the catch. Got his puppies in order. Want to thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Gus Johnson, and joining me, the man with all of the insight, the governor, Bill Rafter. They've worked the perimeter. He can't get it to go. Pulls it down. He puts up the tray. The senior. And have it stolen away. Out on the right wing. From the corner. Not this time. He owns the window. He gets it out on the way. Jump shot. Perfect. We are at the six-minute mark. Look at that block. Terrific. On the right side. He can't get around the trap. Trying to beat it, but he couldn't, Gus. On the outside, he shoots from the corner. That's how to stretch the defense, Gus. If you can make those, offensively, your team becomes really difficult to guard. Now they work it around the perimeter. How about this kid, huh? Now, he's a pure shooter. You can't give him any space. Really, a great stroke by this kid. They work the perimeter. Five minutes left on the game clock. Poor decision there. The Phoenix in a hurry. 
Receives the pass in the paint. Down the lane. Finger roll. So easy. Out on the left wing. Inside. On the left side. Fires. Count No, he rips it down. Can finish. That's a great drive to the basket. With the 30 guns. We're at the four minute mark. Looking for a good shot. First team five. The Badgers are playing great team basketball right. It's been great teamwork, Gus. When guys are helping one another out at the defensive end, making that extra pass at the offensive end, it makes for good, fun basketball. Off the mark. What a rebound. It's mine. He unloads the three, and he hits it. Dump it inside. In the lane. He missed it. Grabs the rebound. Now looking to a nice rejection. on the way. Jump shot. Buck. We're at the three minute mark. Fires. Got it. of this role, it really helps out the coaching staff and the team as a whole. He got them both. How about that, Gus? On the left side. He strokes it. And he can't get the bounce. Give me that. Two minutes left on the game clock. Jump shot. Shots off. Takes the board. Both teams looking to get in a, a bit of a rhythm here. Good job defensively. Pushing in transition. And that's a chance. right wing. Nice job defensively. On the right side. He fires it up. Answer. Looking for a good shot. Around a minute remaining. He can't get it to go. Takes the rebound. 
They work it around the perimeter. Looking for the bomb. Got it! to get things going again after the timeout. Takes the pass in the paint. Play the stick it, young fella. Tump it inside. They keep him under wraps. That's a pretty good trap there, Gus. They came together, shut down the passing lanes, and had him locked up. Up next, the road to the final four. Please stay tuned. And a look at our game summary will give you an idea of how these two teams are stacking up against one another so far. Looks like they're going to play a little... Wait a minute. On the outside. In the lane. Shots off. Makes them so competitive on the glass. No. Pulls it in. Now on the run. Looking for a good shot. The shot clock down to 10. Shots off. On the right side. Fires. How about that? Huh? They work the perimeter. From the corner! With no luck, snatches the rebound. On the wing. He goes for three. And no! Look to outlet! Top of the key. In the lane. They're having a tough time hitting from the floor. And lays it in. This guy is a complete player in the post. The big fella can face you up, play back to the basket. He's a good rebounder and solid on that defensive end. Lobs it. on the left wing. Jump shot. Big time dagger. Ball kicked out from the post. Dials up a long range shot. Oh! Work it around the perimeter. Look at that block! Terrific reaction! Ball's going to stay here. You know, Raph, this guy has really elevated his game today. He's been a monster so far. He's been getting involved wherever he can, making the most of all his chances. He's been fun to watch.
We're at the five minute mark on the left side with 10 to shoot on the shot clock. Dump it inside. Fire. Shots off. It's mine. On the wing. Shots up. And misses. Rakes it off the rim. Offensive pull. Now they work it around the perimeter. Put a little English on it. You always want your players going hard to the basket like that. Wouldn't you agree, Coach? Wow, Gus, when you drive it with authority, only good things happen. Drives like that usually end up with a basket and or a foul. Jump shot. Nice bucket. This guy is a real talent, a great passer and scorer. This kid really does a good job of reading the D and seeing the whole floor. And he loves to give it up. He really does a good job of scoring as well. Down in the low block. In the lane. Uh, he got it. Kid's showing us that he's got a little mid-range game, Gus. Off the mark. Kept alive, though. Offensive rebound. They'll kick it back out. He shoots from the corner. No luck from downtown. Down on the low block. Fires. Shots off. One shot, Gus. You always want to limit the opposition to one opportunity. He tries the three. Perfect. We're at the three-minute mark. Out on the right wing. He takes the three. Comes up empty from deep. Look for the outlet. Way out on the right wing. He shoots from the corner. Nice look. Bam. On the wing. Jump shot. Shots off. Cleans the glass. Pushes it. Heat check time from long range. Can't connect from the three-point line. And we'll get a change of possession. Made this long-range shot look easy. How about that, Gus? He does a terrific job of locking it in on the target. Lifting his elbow. Following through. Get the puppy set. On the right side. Two minutes left on the game clock. He shoots from the top of the key. How about this kid, huh? He was determined to get to the rim. A nice job getting to the hole. A gutsy take. I like that mentality. He shoots from the corner. But he misses his target. They would like to get it inside to the low block. Fires. It's good. On the left side. He lets it go. Shots off. Pushing. Coach about to adjust his rotation. He missed it. Grabs the rebound. They work the perimeter. He shoots from the corner. It looks like a few substitutions are going to be made. He manages to keep it in. Shots off. Up and in. Ha ha! Timeout call. We'll get you back into the action right after this. They work it around the perimeter. With 
10 to shoot on the shot clock. Jump shot. And he can't get the out. They should look to push it now. A little woo-woo, Gus. He shoots from the corner. Shots off. Way to get up, big fella. The Badgers make it two in a row, Raph. Yet again, they put forth a really good effort. It seems as though guys are buying into the system and philosophy, which is always a good thing. Raph, we had a couple of great performances out there today, and here are our players of the game. These kids were awesome out there. As a coach, these are the type of performances you want to get from your players.